welcome to the chapter integers this slide presents the overview of the chapter learning objectives by the end of this chapter you will be able to represent the numbers on the number line analyze the operations of integers under addition subtraction multiplication multiplication of two negative integers multiplication of more than two negative integers division define the properties of integers under addition multiplication subtraction division introduction before entering into the chapter follow the instructions shown on the screen click each tab to know more we know in lower classes we studied numbers like 1 2 3 4 and so on for counting objects around us these numbers are called natural numbers if we add 0 on the number line we can get the new collection of numbers called whole numbers the numbers which are behind 0 are called negative numbers now it is wholly called as integers we already studied about integers and their properties in our previous classes do you know the operations of integers under addition subtraction multiplication and division and their respective properties let us know so in this chapter let us discuss about the various operations of integers under addition subtraction multiplication and division along with their respective properties let us perform an activity on marking of integers on the number line mark the numbers on the number line starting from smallest to biggest number among the following note on a number line The number increases as we move to right and decreases as we move to the left. Therefore, ascending order of the given numbers is minus seven, less than minus five, less than three, less than five. For the given numbers, the ascending order representation is minus seven, minus five, three, and five. ascending order of the given numbers is minus 10 less than minus 8 less than 4 less than 6 for the given numbers the ascending order representation is minus 10 minus 8 4 and 6 ascending order of the given numbers is minus 8 less than minus 5 less than minus 1 less than 2 for the given numbers the ascending order representation is minus 8 minus 5 minus 1 and 2 
let us learn about the operation of integers operation of integers includes addition subtraction multiplication and division of integers let us review the addition of integers on a number line if we add positive integers to a number you will move to the right side of the number line if we add negative integers to a number you will move to the left side of the number line take a number 5 on a number line and add positive integers 2 and 3 to it we observe that the obtained numbers are right side to the number 5 and they are 7 and 8 similarly take 4 on a number line and add negative integers minus 1 and minus 3 to it we observe that the obtained numbers are left side of the number 4 that is 3 and 1 let us do an activity to represent the addition of integers on a number line note when we add positive integer to the number the obtained number will move to the right side of the number line. Its representation is as shown on screen. Its representation is as shown on screen. Note, when we add negative integer to the number, the obtained number will move to the left side of the number line. Its representation is as shown on screen. Let us learn about subtraction of integers. Take a number 3 on a number line and subtract positive integers 2 and 3 from it. We observe that arrow is moving to the left side of the number line. Take a number 4 on a number line and subtract a negative integer minus 2 and minus 3 from it. We observe that the arrow is moving to the right side of the number line. Let us perform an activity for representing subtractions on a number line. Note. For the given number, when we subtract the positive integer, the obtained number will be left side of the number line. Its representation is shown on screen. Note, 
For the given number, when we subtract the negative integer, the obtained number will be right side of the number line. Its representation is shown on screen. Its representation is shown on screen. Let us now learn about multiplication of integers. We already know that multiplication of natural numbers like 5 into 2 equal to 10. Here, we added 2 for 5 times. Its number line is represented as shown on the screen. We do the same for product of 2 and minus 3, we obtain its result as minus 6. Here, we are going to add minus 3 for 2 times. Its number line is represented as shown on the screen. Let us observe the multiplication of integers. Multiply the numbers on the number line with 4. We will obtain minus 20, minus 16, minus 12, minus 8, minus 4, 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So, we observe that the difference between each successive terms is the same, that is 4. Similarly, by multiplying the same number line with minus 3, we obtain the numbers as 15, 12, 9, 6, 3, 0, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, minus 12, minus 15. Again, we observe that the same difference is existing between each successive terms, that is 3. From the above two observations, we can conclude that the product of one positive integer and one negative integer is always a negative integer. And the product of two negative integers is always a positive integer. Rules of Multiplication of Integers The product of two positive integers always is positive. The product of two negative integers always is positive. The product of one positive integer and one negative integer always is negative integer and vice versa. Let us do a simple activity to choose the correct option for multiplication of integers. Let us further discuss about multiplication of more than two negative numbers. Let us assume the numbers minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5 and multiply them as shown on the screen. As we know that product of two negative integers is a positive integer. So, first multiply minus 3 and minus 4. Thus, we obtain it as 12. Then, multiply the resultant number 12 with minus 5 and its product is obtained as minus 60. In this way, we multiply many negative number of integers. Let's see some examples of multiplication of more than two negative numbers. By these examples, 
we can observe that if the number of negative integers being multiplied is even, then the obtained product is a positive integer. If the number of negative integers being multiplied is odd, then the obtained product is a negative integer. Here we are going to discuss the multiplication of two or more numbers in an easier way. In our previous classes, we learned how to multiply the two given numbers, say 20 and 32. In general, we do multiplication as shown on screen. The easiest way to do multiplication for the above given numbers is as follows. First, write the number 20 as usual and for easy solving, write the number 32 as 30 plus 2. Now multiply 20 with 30 plus 2. We get as shown on screen. Similarly, to multiply the numbers 20 and minus 98, write the negative 98 as minus 100 plus 2 and then multiply it as shown on screen. Now, let us study about the division of integers. Division is nothing but the inverse operation of multiplication. We know that the product of 5 and 4 is 20. Therefore, the inverse of it is 20 by 4 is equal to 5 or 20 by 5 is equal to 4. So, for every multiplication statement of natural numbers, there will be two respective division statements. Let us see some examples on division of integers. From the above table, we conclude that we get quotient as a positive integer when we divide two negative integers. Let us have a look on rules of division of integers. If two positive integers are divided, we get positive integer as quotient. If two negative integers are divided, we get positive integer as quotient. If we divide one positive integer and one negative integer, we get negative integer as quotient and vice versa. So, the rules are the same for both multiplication and division. Here, we will learn about the properties of integers under addition. Properties of the integers under addition can be categorized as Closure property, Commutative property, Associative property, Additive identity property, Additive inverse property. Click each tab to know more. Closure property defines for any two integers a and b. a plus b is also an integer. In the first statement, minus 9 plus of minus 8 is equal to minus 17. It concludes that the sum is an integer. In the second statement, 9 plus of minus 8 is equal to 1. It concludes that the sum is an integer. In the third statement, minus 12 plus of minus 12 is equal to minus 24. It concludes that the sum is an integer. Therefore, the above table follows closure property under addition. Commutative property defines for any two integers a and b. a plus b is equal to b plus a. In the first statement, 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 and in the second statement, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. And it concludes that a plus b 
is equal to b plus a same for the second and the third statements also as shown in the table therefore the about table follows commutative property under addition associative property defines that for any three integers a b and c a plus of b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c in the first statement 1 plus of 3 plus 2 is equal to 6 and in the second statement 1 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 6 and it concludes that a plus of b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c same for the second and the third statements as shown in the table therefore the above table follows associative property under addition additive identity property defines for any integer a a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a in the first statement minus 9 plus 0 is equal to minus 9 and in the second statement 0 plus of minus 9 is equal to minus 9 and it concludes that a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a is equal to a same for the second and the third statements as shown in the table therefore the above table follows additive identity property under addition additive inverse property defines that for any integer a there exists an integer minus a such that a plus of minus a is equal to zero both the integers are called additive inverse of each other in the first statement 5 plus of minus 5 is equal to 0 and it concludes that a plus of minus a is equal to 0 same for the second and the third statements as shown in the table therefore the above table follows additive inverse property under addition here we will learn about the properties of integers under multiplication properties of integers under multiplication is categorized into closure property commutative property associative property distributive property multiplicative identity property multiplication by zero click each tab to know more closure property defines that if a and b are two integers a into b is also an integer in the first statement minus 9 into minus 8 is equal to 72 it concludes that the product is an integer in the second statement 9 into minus 8 is equal to minus 72 it concludes that the product is an integer in the third statement 12 into 1 is equal to 12 it concludes that the product is an integer therefore the above table follows closure property under multiplication commutative property defines that for any two integers a and b a into b is equal to b into a in the first statement 5 into 2 is equal to 10 and in the second statement 2 into 5 is equal to 10 and it concludes that a into b is equal to b into a same for the second and the third statements also as shown in the table therefore the above table follows 
commutative property under multiplication. Associative property defines that for any three integers a, b, and c, a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. In the first statement, 1 into 3 into 2 is equal to 6. And in the second statement, 1 into 3 into 2 is equal to 6. And it concludes that a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. Same for the second and the third statements as shown in the table. Therefore, the above table follows associative property under multiplication. Distributive property defines for any three integers a, b and c, a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. In first statement, 1 into 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and in second statement, 1 into 3 plus 1 into 2 is equal to 5 and it concludes that a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. Same for second and third statements as shown in the table. Therefore, the above table follows distributive property under multiplication. Multiplicative identity property defines that for any integer a, a into 1 is equal to 1 into a is equal to a. In the first statement, minus 9 into 1 is equal to minus 9 and in the second statement, 1 into minus 9 is equal to minus 9 and it concludes that a into 1 is equal to 1 into a is equal to a. Same for the second and the third statements as shown in the table. Therefore, the above table follows multiplicative identity property under multiplication. Multiplication by zero property defines that for any integer a, a into zero is equal to zero into a is equal to zero. In the first statement, minus 9 into 0 is equal to 0 and in the second statement, 0 into minus 9 is equal to 0 and it concludes that a into 0 is equal to 0 into a is equal to 0. Same for the second and the third statements as shown in the table. Therefore, the above table follows multiplication by 0 property under multiplication. Let us do a lab activity on the properties of integers. Click each tab to know more. The objective of this activity is to state and illustrate the different properties of operations on integers. The materials required for this activity are a few mangoes, apples and bananas. Let us assume mangoes represent A and apples represent B. The correct numerical values of the mangoes and apples are noted in the given fields. Here, as both LHS and RHS are equal, we observe that the figures are representing commutative property under addition that is A plus B equal to B plus A.
Let us check for the associative property under addition. Let us assume mangoes represent A, apples represent B, and bananas represent C. The correct numerical values of the mangoes and apples and bananas are noted in the given fields. Here, as both LHS and RHS are equal, we observe that the figures are representing associative property under addition, that is, A plus of B plus C equal to A plus B plus C. Let us check for the distributive property under multiplication. Let us assume 2 represents A, apples represent B, and mangoes represent C. The correct numerical values of the mangoes and apples are noted in the given fields. Here, as both LHS and RHS are equal, we observe that the above figures are representing distributive property under multiplication. That is, A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. Let us check for the additive identity property under addition. Let us assume apples represent A. The correct numerical values of the apples are noted in the given fields. Here, as both LHS and RHS are equal, we observe that the above figures are representing additive identity property under addition, that is A plus 0 is equal to 0 plus A, that is in turn equal to A. The above observations can be represented in a tabular form as shown. Integers satisfy commutative, associative, distributive and additive identity properties under multiplication and addition. Here we will learn about the properties of integers under subtraction. Among all the properties, subtraction follows only closure property. Closure property defines for any integers a and b, a minus b is also an integer. In the first statement, 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 and it concludes that a minus b is an integer. Same for the second and the third statements as shown in the table. Therefore, the above table follows closure property under subtraction. Properties of integers under division. Let us see whether the following properties satisfies the integers under division. Click each tab to know more. Closure property is not followed under division. In the first statement, minus 10 by 5 is equal to minus 2. It concludes that it is an integer. In the second statement, when 3 is divided by 6, the obtained result is 1 by 2, which is not an integer. Similarly, the last statement is not an integer. The above table shows that the closure property is not followed under division. Commutative property is not followed under division. In the first statement, minus 10 by 5 is not equal to 5 by minus 10. 
it concludes that A by B is not equal to B by A. Similarly, the remaining two statements are also not integers. The above table shows that the commutative property is not followed under division. Division by zero is also not a property under division. In general, for any integer a, a by zero is not defined, but zero by a is equal to zero for a not equal to zero. So, we conclude that anything divided by zero is not defined. And zero by any number is always zero. Its example is shown on the screen. Any integer divided by zero is meaningless or undefined and zero divided by an integer other than zero is equal to zero. Division by one, in general, for any integer a, a by one is equal to a. For example, two by one is always two which concludes that a by 1 is equal to a. Similarly, the next two statements conclude the same. The above table shows that if any positive integer or negative integer is divided by 1 gives the same number as quotient. Associative property In general, Associative property is not followed under division. Here, in the first example, initially divide 4 with 2. We get 2. Thus, 8 by 2 is equal to 4. Similarly, in statement 2, initially divide 8 with 4. We get it as 2. Thus, 2 by 2 is equal to 1. Thus, we conclude that A by B by C is not equal to a by b by c. Similarly, the next two statements are shown. The above table shows that the division of integers is not associative. Let us solve some example problems. A person climbs up six stairs every second and climbs down two stairs the next second. Find the number of seconds required to climb 40 states. Solution. Given number of states climbed up in one second equal to 6 and number of states climbed down in one second equal to 2. Total number of states are 40. Total number of states climbed up in 2 seconds is equal to the difference between number of states climbed up in one second a number of states climb it down in one second. Thus, total number of states climbed up in two seconds is equal to 6 minus 2, which is equal to 4. Therefore, time required to climb up 40 states is equal to 40 by 2, which is equal to 20 seconds. The temperature of a place was minus 4 degrees centigrade. It went up by 3 degrees centigrade in the morning, then again increased by 2 degrees centigrade in the afternoon and decreases by 1.5 degrees centigrade in the evening. Find the final temperature in the evening. Solution Initial temperature as minus 4 degrees centigrade. Increase in temperature in the morning is 3 degrees centigrade. Increase in temperature in the afternoon is 2 degrees centigrade. Decrease in temperature in the evening is 1.5 degrees centigrade. Final temperature is equal to initial temperature plus increase in temperature in the morning plus increase in temperature in the afternoon minus decrease in temperature in the evening.
final temperature is equal to minus 4 plus 3 plus 2 minus 1.5 which is equal to 5 minus 5.5 5 further equal to minus 0 0.5 degrees centigrade. Let us list out formulas involved in this chapter. Follow up work. Take at least five pairs of integers and check whether the division of integers is commutative. Try to write all the properties of integers under addition. Take at least a pair of integers and try to check all the properties of integers satisfy under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. You have successfully completed the chapter Integers.